Hello everybody. Welcome to the concept three video. The concept three video means multiplicate is like stands for multiply factor based and compare between three numbers. Between three numbers or I would rather say compare between three variables. Okay. Compare between three variables. So let me come down to this to this equation. It says if x percent of A is equal to y percent of B is equal to z percent of C, then what is the relationship between A, B and C? We have three equations, we have three variables and we have, uh, sorry, we have one equation, we have three variables. So again, I, I've talked about it in the past, in the previous videos as well, that the number of equations and the number of variables need to be equal to find out the absolute value of each and every variable. Right now, right here, we can only come down to the re relative values, the relative values between two variables or three variables that can be found out. Here, the output which you're getting is always the relationship between two variables. I will take you to the, I'll try to take you to the absolute value of three variables through this question itself. Okay. Just look at this. It says if X percent of A, I'll try to derive this form of whatever is here. It says X percent of A is equal to Y percent of B. See, I said percent, I said off, but I did not write it because I believe you must have seen the previous three videos. This is not required to be written. You just need to put the multiplication sign. And when I compare A upon B, what I'm doing here is I'm simply giving it Y upon X. So we've arrived at this solution. Then secondly, when I talk about Y percent of B is equal to Z percent of C, what am I doing? B upon C is Z upon Y. This is the second solution which I have arrived at. Talking about the third solution, x percent of a is equal to z percent of c what am i doing here a divided by c is equal to z upon c no is equal to z upon x so i have arrived at the third equation so in an equation only you can solve like in terms of one equal to symbol you can have only two variables on the left or the right and that is how you create an equation out of it now the, there would be time, times when you would see x multiplied by a is equal to y multiplied by b is equal to z multiplied by c. And now you wish to have an equation which has all the three variables in it and you have the perfect solution to it. Okay. So what needs to be done over here is we would be, I do not want any coefficient to be remaining with any of my variables. My variables here are a b and c so what i would do is i would divide the entire equation by x into y into z why am i doing x into y into z the reason of multi of dividing the entire equation by x into y into x into y into z is that x into y into z i'll just tell you the reason is that x into y into z is the lcm of x y z okay x y z is the lcm of x y and z lcm means the lowest uh, the least common multiple okay so i'm going to divide the entire equation by x y and z x times a divided by x y and z is equal to y times b divided by x y and z is equal to z times c divided by x y and z okay now cancelling out the common thing x divided by x y divided by y the common thing in the numerator and the denominator i'm cancelling that out so what result we come out to is that when a is ratios to b ratio to b is ratio to c the the kind of absolute value which you, which you can reach to in a quicker way would be a is to y z then b is to x z and C is to X, Y. Okay. Okay. You can remember this solution as well. There's a quicker way of arriving at the solution. I'll just tell you how. Whatever is A's coefficient, you put a hand on that. And the rest of the coefficients of other two variables, you pull them off. Pull them off means pull them up and put them into your equation. The uh, if you see, I'll just use the red pen over here. If you see the variable 
which was associated the coefficient which was associated with a was x and it is nowhere to be seen in its ratio proportion so this is the game to remember it the way the the variable associated or the um, coefficient associated with b was y but it is nowhere to be seen when it comes down to ratios similarly with c the the coefficient of c was z and it is nowhere to be seen in its ratio proportion form okay this this solution which is here on the right one this needs to be remembered and this second solution which is on the left on like above and below these two solutions need to be remembered now we'll be moving on to the two questions which we have for concept three and i hope you're ready with your pen and pencils pen and papers to solve it it says a is 80 percent more than b and c is 48 4 by 7 less than the sum of a and b okay so by what percent is c less than a this is a very good question this is related to ratios clearly related to ratios the only bone of contention the only bone of contention bone of contention means the source of the problem i'm teaching i'm going to teach you english as well this is a good idiom bone of contention the source or the root of the problem is 48 4 by 7 okay it is 48 4 by 7 let me help you break down 48 4 by 7 48 4 by 7 is the bone of contention i'm going to convert this mixed fraction and there is a percentage sign attached to it i'm going to convert this mixed fraction into a simplified fraction 7 8s are 56 7 4s are 28 so 336 right 7 8s are 56 5 carry 7 4s are 28 28 plus 5 33 whole divided by 7 plus 4 okay this comes down to 340 divided by 7 340 divided by 7 there is a percentage sign which it was carrying along so i'm gonna write the percentage sign now converting the percentage sign to a regular fraction sign i have to divide by 100 okay so 340 upon 700 is the ratio that we're talking about and it says c is this this ratio less than the sum of a and b c is less than the sum of the ratio a and b this is a and b and c is 340 less than 700 so this ratio would convert itself into 340 should be subtracted out of 700 which gives us 360 360 upon 700 is the real ratio okay this is c dash less okay now this is a real value of c c divided by a plus b is equal to 700 we've arrived at a stronger solution as compared to had we started off with the first place that a is 40 percent more than b and and we move on like that okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna draw i'm gonna draw ratios between a b and c i'm gonna draw a relation between a b and c the current relation which i have a and b are mixed up a and b are mingled up because a and b are together coming out to a proportion of 700 to 360 of c okay 700 and 360 there is still a relation i need to separate all of them i need to separate all of them so what i'll do is so what i'll do is i'll check the first equation i would check the first equation what does the first equation say a is 80 percent more than b let me assume that there are three ratios a is to b is to c a is 80 percent more than b i'm assuming b to be 100 and c to be 180 this helps me this helps me completely in the first equation that we have over here it says that the value of c the value of c would be 360 when the addition of a and b is 700 right now the addition of a and b is 280 right now the addition of a and b is 280 and i want it to reach 700 so what needs to be multiplied my question is what needs to be multiplied here so 
ट्वेंटी एट टू जा फाइव सिक्सटीन एंड आई एम फोर्टीन अवे फ्रॉम वन अवे फ्रॉम इट रीचिंग सेवेंटी सो आई वुड मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई टू एंड हाफ If I multiply this with two and a half, I have to multiply these two separately with two and a half, two and a half multiplied, two and a half multiplied, two and a half multiplied would bring it to two fifty. Two and a half multiplied by one eighty would be one eighty two zar three sixty, one eighty two zar three sixty, and one eighty half zar ninety three sixty plus ninety four fifty. Okay, so is the sum. Of A and B equal to seven hundred now, the answer is yes. Four fifty plus two fifty is seven hundred. So I can assume from this first equation, not assume but yeah, make it make it a reality that if the sum of A and B is seven hundred, then the the value of C would be three sixty. Boom, we're done. See, it was just one step back which you need to take to analyze the question. You should know which thread is loose. Where to cut off first, so that you'll be reaching you'll be reaching the solution faster. Had you applied the first form of the question, the first equation of A and B's relationship, you might have never reached the second solution. The second solution here being the first equation, you might have never reached here. So always remember, by practice you'll be able to understand of where to reach and when to reach quickly. Now the question says, by what percent is C less than A? When I'm talking about C being less than A, I'm gonna put C under the radar. Under the radar means in the denominator, and the difference between C and A is ninety. Four fifty minus three sixty is equal to ninety. I'm gonna multiply it by hundred. Nine ones are nine fours are. Okay, I'm cancelling out the zeros first. Then nine ones are nine fours are four and twenty five. So the answer comes out to be twenty five percent. Understand what I mean? Twenty-five percent is the answer. Another question here: Is it the same concept three? Yes, it is the same concept three. Two numbers are respectively sixteen percent and thirty percent less than a third number. Okay, and the ratio of the two numbers is. The question here is that there are two and three numbers, A, B, and C, and A and B. I am assuming here that they are less. Sixteen percent and thirty percent less than a third number. As we are studying the concept of percentages, the third number, the third number should be. The third number must be. And the third number ought to be assumed. Okay, remember this. Remember this. Remember this. That the third number ought to be assumed. and the easiest number which we can play with in our minds the easiest number which we can play with in the chapter of percentages is ladies and gentlemen i need an answer the answer is 100 because it is it is the most how should i say it is the x men of all the mutants available of all the mutations available they are the best of the best so 100 is the strongest point because it is easily solvable it is assumed to be 100 so c has been assumed to be 100 in this case two numbers are respectively 16% and 30% 16% less than 100 would be 84 16 minus uh 16 is subtracted from 100 it comes down to 84 and the third number is 30% less 30% less of 100 would be 70 Thirty percent less of hundred would be seventy. Then the ratio of these two numbers needs to be found out. Eighty four, then seventy. I'm gonna use the biggest table possible, just to make you understand that it is it is very important to know big tables. Fourteen fives are seventy, and fourteen six are eighty four. Fourteen six za eighty four. People tend to call it six za. Fives are. It's basically fives are fourteen. Fives are seventy. Okay, we are going to break things down to the lowest possible level. Fourteen sixes are eighty-four. Okay, I hope I've made myself very clear. And sixes to five is the answer in the examination hall. 
यूज बिग टेबल्स यूज बिग टेबल्स बिग टेबल्स मीन्स यूज द बिगेस्ट पॉसिबल नंबर विच यू नो विच यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद टू कैंसल आउट द इक्वेशन यूज बिग टेबल्स एंड क्लिक योर आंसर एज सिक्स एस टू फाइव कॉन्सेप्ट नंबर थ्री इज डन वी गोन मूव ऑन टू अदर कॉन्सेप्ट टिल देन प्लीज रिवाइज एवरीथिंग दैट आई प्रॉट यू because if you revise everything it's going to be easier it's going to be quicker for you to clear it okay thank you and all the best